Hi, I'm Mike Bernard from the Interrenew COE, and I will introduce the EU Green Deal and what it might mean for circular wood use and research. This work is part of the Wood Circus Project. Wood Circus examines the best circular economy practices in the wood value chain and will develop policy recommendations, research objectives, and communication guidance to support the sector in the circular economy. We have partners from across Europe, including industry, associations, and research organizations. Okay, now onto the circular economy in Europe. We talk about the circular economy a lot here, but it's only been a formal objective since 2015. The circular economy was conceptualized in the late 80s and early 90s and put into practice soon after in China. The EU has had sustainability objectives for some time, but the first big shift in policy underlying the circular economy was the Recycling Society Directive in 2011. It was a few years later when the circular economy objective became a central part of the EU sustainability work. Upcoming sustainability policies in the EU will be part of the Green Deal, which was launched in 2019. The circular economy has been focused on plastics in the EU, and with good cause. Wood fits into some of the plastics work as a replacement, especially in packaging, and as a source of polymers. A report in 2019 touted the success of the circular economy in Europe, but it felt a bit empty at the time. The Green Deal provides a roadmap to a more sustainable society. It still needs a budget and to be ratified by the member states. The circular economy is a big part of the Green Deal, but we need to work hard to make sure wood becomes an integral part. The Green Deal isn't a complete policy in itself, but it is the foundation for many strategies and directives currently under development. For wood researchers like us, it is important to know that it is already shaping the availability of research funding in Europe and for external partners. Some important strategic areas the wood sector can have a role in are the industrial strategy, which is in place as of early March. It has a strong focus on abiding by single market rules in the EU and readying EU companies for more global competition. The circular economy proposal is in place, but the information is limited. I think we can expect more of what we've had, a large focus on raw key materials, plastics, and electronics, but there will be limitations on single-use products, and I wonder how wood products will be considered in these terms. Biodiversity is a key area as well, and it is focused on protecting land. They also intend to plant 3 billion trees by 2030. Different parts of the forest value chain will be affected by different policy areas. Forestry will likely see the greatest impacts from biodiversity and sustainable agricultural areas. The sustainable industry and clean energy policy areas will likely affect our processing sectors the most, while buildings will be very directly affected by the building and renovation policies to come. The focus on renovation is very important. New regulations related to buildings can be a big opportunity and also a challenge for wood. Energy efficiency will be linked to a price benefit to make energy efficient buildings more affordable. I think this is good for wood. More digitalization is expected, so we need to work with our counterparts in ICT. Renovation is going to be the biggest shift. I think we can expect curtailed new construction and further incentives for renovation. This will be difficult for wood, but we can be clever and use wood for a variety of renovation types, including structural and energy efficiency. Just building practices are also critical. This means more funding for renovating social housing, schools, and hospitals. So, where does that leave the wood sector? We don't know much yet, but I haven't seen the wood sector mentioned much in official documents. Bio-based solutions come up from time to time, usually related to plastics. I think green chemistry will be okay. As usual, we need to prove the value of the wood sector. The wood sector faces some challenges with the green deal like the single-use limitation, which may be challenging for some parts of the wood sector. The wood sector isn't specifically mentioned in the Green Deal either. This likely means we have been out-lobbied or simply ignored. Claims of greenness will need to be supported, which is challenging, but I think will end up as a benefit for our sector. We can also look to promising concepts like design for disassembly to address the single-use issue in construction, or broadening our value chains to support higher value-added processes like green chemistry. And coming back to Wood Circus, we're going to create an RDI plan that will address the challenges facing our sector in the Green Deal and the circular economy. We will support policy making and be active in shaping future policy directives and strategies. We'll create a database of good practices as examples for others to learn from. 
We also hope to build a long-lasting network to continue driving policy and business practices to support wood value chains under the Green Deal. Valas Thank you for your attention. Hey, hey.